Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Ever since we started the Green Energy Futures series, I wanted to visit Germany and experience Energy Wende, or Energy Transition, firsthand. The Germans are the pioneers of the green energy revolution, and we wanted to see examples of German energy transition firsthand. I'm Andreas Witte. I'm the head of the Division of Climate and Energy in the County Administration of Osnabrück. And we are responsible to reach our goals in climate protection. I met Andreas in Edmonton a year ago when people from northern Germany came to Edmonton to learn about our coal phase-out and energy transition here. He's charged with achieving climate change goals for his county of 34 municipalities. In the county of Osnabrück, our own goals are to be in 100% renewable energies in electricity until 2030 and in heating and warmth until 2050. Those go beyond the German goals of 60% renewable energy and 80 to 95% reductions of greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. Our big point is to produce renewable energies in our district. We have about 180 wind turbines and we reach additional 10,000 PV stations. We reach 80% of our electricity by renewable energy. Yep, in the coal region of Osnabrück, they already have reached 80% renewable energy by installing 10,000 solar projects, wind farms and more. We have a lot of biogas plants in our area, about 100 of them, and a lot of farmers have their own biogas plant. The rest of their electricity comes from the national grid, a mix of coal, gas, nuclear and renewables. Nuclear is being phased out by 2022 and coal by 2038. The next big area of energy transition is in mobility. We found out together with our University of Applied Sciences that today it's possible to change every car the family has at home, the second car they have at home, to change it into electromobility, into an e-car. But unlike Norway, uptake of electric cars is slow in Germany, despite that Volkswagen has already announced they will only produce electric cars starting in 2026. I think they can read the signs in the companies and the managers can read the signs. We have such productions in Asia and they want to hold the market and I think that's the topic they made the decision uh, to produce ECAS 2 here. And I think the market will tell them what they have to do in the future. The cost of electric cars is expected to match gas cars within five years. But for now, there are no incentives and uptake is slow in Germany. Andreas says mobility and home heating are the next big energy transition areas to tackle. In our region, we do our house heating with oil and with gas today and we want to install heating grids so that we will be able to change only one boiler if we have a better technology or a better stuff to burn or a heat pump or something like that. Despite the challenges, Andreas is optimistic. If we reach the 100% goals until 2030 in electricity, we're sure that we do that. If we reach the 100% goal in heating and warmth until 2050, I don't know. Maybe it's 2052 or something like that. And the reducing of 95% of the CO2 emissions until 2050, we are working on our projects to reach that goal. Learn more and be sure to check out our other stories on energy transition in Germany at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.